Well, the Mine Safety Health Administration is blaming managers for not preventing an underground avalanche that killed a worker at the Lucky Friday Mine. Both the Hecla Mining Company and one of its contractors, Cementation USA, have received citations for not properly equipping or training workers for that particular job. 26-year-old Brandon Gray suffocated when he was buried in a rock slide back in November of 2011. KXY4's Jeff Humphrey, he is live in our virtual studio tonight to show us what happened. Jeff? Nadine and Mike Gray and another worker were inside this 16-foot holding bin and they were trying to dislodge a lot of rubble that had clogged up a chute that would have otherwise allowed all of this rock to flow into a lower level of the mine. Now they started their work inside this yellow cage. They were standing in the cage and they were poking at that pile with highly pressurized two-inch blow pipes trying to get that gravel flowing. When that didn't work, they got out of the cage and stood at the top of the pile right here where you see this red circle. They started using those blow pipes again. Unfortunately, that did get the gravel moving and the men fell and they were engulfed in that flow, kind of like that it was quicksand. Now, both men were wearing self-retracting safety harnesses designed to reel in the cable and keep the men from falling. But MSHA officials say the flowing rock was dropping too slowly to activate the harnesses. The safety gear allows miners to move around freely unless they experience a sudden fall, and it kind of works like the seat belts in our car. Now, investigators say the men should have been secured by a fixed tie-off rope here on top of that yellow cage so they could have been belayed by another miner. The Lucky Friday and Cementation USA have agreed to provide more training and not allow walkers to stand on top of rock that has the potential to move. We know that Hackle was fine. $350,000 for Larry Merrick's death before this accident. We do not know the penalties in this particular case. Jeff Humphrey, KXLY4.